What's up guys? How's it going? So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look you just saw with the modeling intro. Um, the reason I'm not wearing it right now or rocking it is because I forgot to film an intro for that video so I'm filming it right now. Um, but yeah, I just got really inspired by using more color on my channel because I've been really, I've been doing really simple looks so I really wanted to kind of like branch out and try something different and I really ended up liking how it, this look turned out um, so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching hey guys what is up so let's go ahead and get started so basically I don't really know like what I'm gonna do but I'm just gonna 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 try to do it so I already have my eyebrows completed and my base done for my eyelids so I want to do like a blue, smoky, cut crease kind of look. Um, what I'm going for is, you know, something like that. I really hope you guys can see. Where's my mouse? Something like this, just like a blue, smoky, cut crease. Ah. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for. I don't really know what to do yet, but we're gonna we're gonna get through it. So I will be using the Jaclyn Hill palette for this. So I'm going to first go in with, what shade was it that I was going to go in with? I'm going to first go in with this one, no. I'm going to first go in with this one right here, just to kind of start a transition. Because I don't really want to use blue as a transition shade, I just, I don't know, it's not really calling my name. So I'm just going to go in with that one and blend this in the crease. So I'm just blending this color into the crease just to make sure that um, when we put the rest of the colors on top, it's easier to blend. So, yeah. This is just our transition shade. You kind of want just like a light kind of color in there just to help blend the rest of the other ones. And since we are using a, like blues and all of those kinds of shades, you really want to do this just because it's going to make it easier to blend the rest of the colors. And it's gonna make it look a bit more clean as well. Now once we did that, we're gonna take this color, which is just a bit darker, so you can see that one's the first one, and then we're gonna take this one, so it's just a little bit darker. And we're gonna put that a little bit more into the crease. So I'm just gonna take this H&M Crease Blending Brush, and it just appeared in my makeup brush thing. Like in my makeup brushes, I don't remember purchasing this. It just was there and I was like, ooh, okay. So if this is somebody's, uh, let me know, cause I really like it and I've been using it. So yeah. So you can kind of see how it's starting to get a little bit darker. That's kind of what we're going for. And I really hope this works out because if it does, then it means you're watching it and I'm really happy it did. But if it doesn't, then I film this for nothing. Okay, so this is the time for the truth. Okay, so basically kind of like the realm I'm taking is I want to do a cut crease and I want to do this one on the outer half and this one on the inner half. Okay, so now that we have that done, I am going to just go into this shade right here and take the S12 brush by Morphe and just put that in the crease just to start transitioning into blue. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with a cotton pad and just clean up my any fallout and just sharpen up the outer edge of the um, eyeshadow. Okay, so now that it is cut, I am just going to take this shade right here and put that on the inner part of the lid. And I know it's bad to pull your eyelid, but I can't help it. So. And now I'm going to go in with this darker blue right here. This is just going to go on the outer part of the lid. OK, 
Okay, now I'm just gonna go on to the other eye. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with that light blue shade. And then that darker shade. And just clean up the fallout. All right, so this is kind of what we're looking like so far. And now I'm just going to do my winged liner and my lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I did my liner and my lashes. And that's how it's looking. So now I'm going to move on to the face. So for my face, I'm going to... So for the face, I'm going to use this primer. This is the... Lore. This is the Radiance Concentrate with Real Gold Primer. I believe it's by Lore or... I don't know, but this is what it looks like. I'll link it down below. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to my face. And I'm just going to use this Morphe S13 brush just to apply. And I'm just applying this everywhere. Now, for foundation, I'm going to go in with the YSL um, All Hours Foundation in the shade BD25. So I'm just going to put a couple pumps on the back of my hand and just put that on my face. Oh my god, I have that foundation and it worked so well for her because it was a 20... I love the way this smells. It smells so good. I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer. This is the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 1 Custard. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this right here. And now I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced uh, Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Press Powder underneath my eyes just to set it. And now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever um, Setting Powder. And I'm, this is in the shade 118 and I'm just going to set the rest of my face. And this is also going to give me a bit more coverage and I'm just going to use the Sigma Large Powder F15. F30 brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the NARS Laguna bronzer with a Sigma Duo Fiber F50 brush and just warm up the face. I'm going to also put this on the forehead. And then for blush, I'm just going to go in with NARS Madly. And now I'm just going to blend everything together. And then for highlight, I'm just going to take the Anastasia Starlight Illuminizer. Illuminator, sorry. And I'm just going to highlight with this. And I'm just going to take the Anastasia 823 brush to highlight. I'm just going to go underneath here just to kind of carve out a little bit the cheekbones and just blend that highlight and blend that out. 
still want to take that uh, light blue shade that we put right in the crease with this Morphe S12 brush and I'm just going to put that on my lashes, on my lower lash line. And then to blend that out, I'm going to take the transition shade that we used at the very beginning and that nice fluffy brush. If I can find it. Where are you? This was right in front of me. And I'm just going to blend them out. Blend that nice blue out. And then what I'm going to do I'm just going to take that very dark blue on the outer corner, the one that's right here. I'm just going to put that on the outer part of the lash line with an angled brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. And then I'm going to use that same angled brush and I want to take that lighter blue and put it right here. So I'm just basically copying what I have on the top on the bottom. Okay, now I'm just going to take that highlight shape that we used from Anastasia and put this in my inner corner. Okay, and now I'm just going to kind of touch up. the eyeshadow just a bit just to make it look a little bit better then I'm just going to take the NARS large thin lifelong wearing eyeliner just to line my waterline okay and now last step or last two steps is I'm just going to set my brow with the Anastasia clear brow gel and then we're gonna go in with the lips so for lips Okay, I'm going to take um, Stormy Sahara by Maybelline. I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. Right on top. Now, I'm just going to set my face with some uh, All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. And now we are almost done. Ow. And now last step is just to curl my lashes and put bottom mascara on my lower lashes. All right, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe and turn your post notifications on for any, um, what's it called? To get notified when I post a new video. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.